Good evening. We have a wonderful day today, full of good stuff that God has been giving to us. And I imagine you have been talking with a wonderful people. Some of you have been cooking, working from home. Some of you have been out. But in every scene that you have been done today, God has been with you. And in a moment in the evening that we start to rest, it's good to have a moment to thank you, God, for who he is. And today we, we're going to back to parables. And so we're going to talk about gift and talent. So let's start for praying and reading and we're going to work in together what God wants to say to us today. Let's pray together. Oh God, may you speak to save us. Oh Lord, may haste to help us. Oh God, will you not give us life again that you people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Truly, his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace has kissed each other, this other. Through show, spirit up from the air, and righteousness look down from heaven. Righteousness should go before him and direct his step in the way. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and should be forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer reads before you, O oh God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. I love that, that a small prayer, introduction to prayer. May be holy, good, and peaceful. That's an amazing prophecy for this evening that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. That is a blessing. We're going to start to reading our Psalm, Psalm 134. Psalm 134. It's very short, it's only three verses, <laughs> but it's powerful. And we're going to pray with Eat some today. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Can bless the Lord, all you servant of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift out your hand toward to the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. I will go back to, to that psalm, and we're going to pray with that psalm, because today the Lord is inviting us to pray to him with our hand toward to the sanctuary. And we're going to pray today for St. Matthew. So I, 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 I'm going to start to read uh, for the parable, and we're going to back when we're going to pray. So, our parable today is in Matthew chapter 25. Matthew 25, chapter 25, from verse 14 to 13. It's a little bit long, but I think it's worthy to read it. For it is as if a man going on a journey 
summoned his slave and entrusted his property to them. To one, he gives five talents. To another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. The one who had received the five talents went off at once and trended with them and made five more talents. In the same way, the one who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received the one talent went off and dug a hole in the ground and hide his master money. After a long time, the master of those slaves came and set account with them. Then the one who had received the five talent came forward, bring five more talents, saying, Master, you had over to me five talents. See, I have made five more talents. His master said to him, well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things, entering to the joys of your master. And the one with the two talents also came forward saying, master, you have over to me two talents. See, I have made two more talents. His master said to him, well done, good and trustworthy slave. You have been trustworthy in a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Enter into the joy of your master. Then the one who had received the one talent also came forward and saying, Master, I knew that you were harsh, man, <laughs> wrapping where you did not sow and gathering where you did not scatter seed. So I was afraid. And I went and I hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master replied, you weak and lazy slave. You knew, did, you knew, did you, that I reap where I did not sow and gather where I did not scare? Then you ought to have invested my money with a banker. And on my return, I would have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give into the one with the talent, with the 10 talent. For to all those who have more will be given and they will have abundance. But from those who have nothing, even that they have will be taken away. As for these worthless slaves, threw him into the haunted darkness, whatever there will be weeping and gushing of teeth. In the end, look at it be difficult to read, but thinking in our talents and our gift, and sometimes we see <clears throat> many people with many talents and we say, oh, I wish I had a talent. And I say, oh, I wish I had a talent. Think about singing. Oh, I wish I wanted to sing it, but no, I can't. <laughs> and we're always thinking in the talents and the gift of other people. Then, oh, God has been giving so many gifts to them. But what? Maybe God only gave me one, only one gift. It's my gift. He gives to me. He in turn to me. And he said, Vicky, that's as you give. What? I have to do with my only one gift. And so many times, I know the war is very hard, but you know, the, the slave, he knew, he knew everything, but he was lazy, the master say, and he didn't have faith in himself. He had one, he could do something with one. We don't need to have thousand, we don't need to have five. We need to have one. Last week we was praying for five people. And I was thinking, we don't need to have five. For one that you have, and you have that gift, you can make a lot of things. If we use our own gift, God's going to multiply that gift. But if we hide 
if we hide the gift and we hide the gift because say no 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 better hide it and don't make any effort the, the slave he didn't work anything he didn't use his imagination he only hiding and my question today and my reflection is are you hiding your gift are you hiding your talent are you waiting for more talent maybe you're not going to have many talent more that give you one use it properly use it for the glory of god multiply it one that you have I don't think so. I am a woman of many gifts. You know, I want to know how to paint him, or how to sing him, or how to do mathematics, or many other gifts that people have. But God gave me one, and I try hard. I try hard, and I want to give you that today. If you have one, try very hard, because he will become to our life again and asking us. What you did with the one that I gave to you? It's not maybe you giving so many to someone different. You did so many to to Charlie, to Carlos, to to Juan. To I going to mention many names that have many gifts. But what you did with you one with the one that God gave to you? Don't hide it. Don't hide it. Bring out. Use your gift. Because one day Jesus is going to ask you for your gift. If you feel you don't have anyone, no, no, you have. God has been giving you a gift. And he is expecting you to use because he is expecting to bless him. That's gift. That is my meditation for you today. I want to ask you, where is your gift? If you hide in your gift, it's time to go out today and dig and take it out. And it starts to function. You need maybe to clean it. Maybe you need to put it out. You need to find it and put it out because that's going to bless you you give. Today we're going to have a, a wonderful time of worship together with the song that I love a lot. It says, with all I am, with all you have, with all that gift that you have, you adore him. Use your gift to adore him. You the gift that you have to bless him with all that you are. Jesus, you know, we are belong to him. We are belong to everything that he has for us. So worship him today with that bless. We're going to pray together. And <clears throat> as I, I told you, I, I want to go back to the psalm. And the psalm says something that in the morning impressed me. And I want you to pray with that psalm. He said, lift out your hand toward to the sanctuary and bless the Lord. And if you are with me this evening, I want you to raise your, your hand up. And I don't know what side of the house you are. And try to imagine where is St. Matthew. You know, where is St. Matthew? I don't know from your house. Where is St. Matthew? And pray. Pray today for St. Matthew, sending all the blessing to St. Matthew, because that is our place of worship. And bless, you know, it's, we pray for the place, but we pray for the people that meet in that place. We pray for the leadership of that place. We pray for, for the people that is, uh, have been there for many, many years. We pray for St. Matthew, Lord. We pray, we raise up our hand toward to St. Matthew, and we declare you blessing in that place today, Lord. We blessing, we bless in that place, Lord, the day when we need to open the door again. Lord, will be a joy, will be a joy, and, and, and moment of, of, of rejoice with you, Lord. But for now, we send a blessing to every member of our church, from the older to the younger. We bless St. Matthew, we bless the, the neighborhood. We bless our community, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we offer to you our talent today. Lord, don't allow us to hide in our talents. Help us to bring our talent out. Even when we think it's so small and it's no insignif it's insignificant, or think that we are no how to use it. Teach us how to use our gift. 
our talent so we can use it for your glory and your kingdom and your community, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, with everything that I am, I want to worship you this afternoon, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. We, you know, worship God and, and worship him for who he is. Worship him with everything that you have in your life. You give, your talent, your job, your ability. You said to worship him.
we're going to end in our evening prayer, praying the Lord prayer and giving thank you to God for who he is in our life and, and, his, and his blessing in us. So let's, let's pray together the Lord prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, giving us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today is a great day to worship him, to say him thank you for everything that he has been done for us. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thank be to God. Today is the day. Continue to watch him with everything that you are. And don't forget, still praying for St. Matthew, still praying for our community. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. Amen. <laughs>